Hello everyone, today I'm going to try to cover what is not machine learning. I am Burak Aybar and I'm a Ruby on Rails developer in Visuality. So the first question that comes out, of course, is that whenever you see machine learning or you hear about machine learning, it seems to be like a magic wand. Your boss says put machine learning into your application or if you hear about startups, they put machine learning into their pitch somewhere and then suddenly they become a viable company. But what is machine learning? What is it really all about? To clearly understand what machine learning really is, it is important to know what it is not. Since the terms artificial intelligence, machine learning and deep learning are often used interchangeably, I will cover their differences in this talk. So basically, deep learning is a subset of machine learning, which in turn is a subset of artificial intelligence. The three technologies help scientists and analysts interpret tons of data, and they are crucial for the field of data science. Many people make referrals to these topics without actually knowing what they really mean. Most of us use the products in our day-to-day -day life when we use services like recommendation systems on Netflix, YouTube, Spotify, or face recognition on Facebook or smartphones. So let's start to discover what artificial intelligence stands for. Humans have long been obsessed with creating artificial intelligence ever since the questions Can Machines Think was posed by Alan Turing in 1950. Simply artificial intelligence or shortly AI means that any code technique or algorithm that enables machines to mimic, develop and demonstrate human cognition or behavior. AI enables the machine to think, that is, without any human intervention, the machine will be able to take its own decision. It's a broad array of computer science that makes machines seem like they have human intelligence. It is clear that AI actually encapsulates the various fields such as computer vision, robotics, machine learning, and etc. So we can say that AI is basically a superset of all these technologies. It is unquestionable that self-driving technology will be part of our future. Self-driving cars combine a variety of sensors to perceive their surroundings, such as radar, lidar, sonar, or GPS. And one of the examples for that, as it is seen from the left images, Tesla cars. Another project is related to AI called BabyX. BabyX is a X is an interactive animated virtual infant prototype. It is a computer-generated psychobiological simulation under development in the labor laboratory of Animate Technologies. It's an experimental vehicle incorporating computational models of the basic neural systems that are involved in interactive behavior and learning. Next topic, what is deep learning? Deep learning is a type of machine learning inspired by the structure of a human brain based on artificial neural networks with representation learning. Deep learning architectures such as deep neural networks, recurrent neural networks, and convolutional neural networks have been applied to, to the fields including object detection, speech recognition, medical image analysis, and so on. And most important thing here, in deep learning, it extracts the features automatically. I will explain this in detail on later slides. <coughs> So to implement deep learning, we would have to create artificial neural networks and these artificial neural networks comprise of an input layer, hidden layer, and then output layer. The input layer is used for taking the input data from external sources and then passing it into the hidden layers. Hidden layer consists of many hidden layers. All the competition is performed in this layer. After all the competition is done, it passes the output to the output layer, an output layer is used for computing and giving the output to the outside world. Having discussed what machine learning is not, it is time to cover the machine learning definition. The biggest reason for its ambiguous description is that it is a multidisciplinary field and it borrows concepts from various fields, such as statistics, probability, linear algebra, computer programming, and etc. Machine learning is the subset of AI where machine learning algorithms are designed in, a su in such a way that the machine tries to learn by itself without being explicitly programmed on each and every instruction. So as it will, so as it will be exposed to more and more data, it tries to internally modify itself and adjust according to the data to which it exposed to, exposed so that it will not rely on human experts to program them. Today machine, learning, today, machine learning is immediate applications are already quite wide-ranging, including image recognition, fraud detection, and recommendation systems, as well as text and speech systems too. 
While things like tagging objects and people inside of photos are clearly machine learning at play, it may, <coughs> it may not be immediately apparent that recommending the next video to watch is also powered by machine learning. Of course, perhaps the biggest example of all is Google search. Every time you use Google search, you are using a system that has many machine learning systems at its core. From understanding text of your query to adjusting to results based on your personal interests, such as knowing which results to <coughs> results to show you first. Or another example from Gmail. Smart Expose is a feature in Gmail that uses machine learning to interactively offer sentence competition suggestion as you type, allowing you to draft emails faster. As with any method, there are different ways to train machine learning algorithms, each with their own advantages and disadvantages. I suggest according to your problem and the data you have in hand, you can easily decide which one fits for your problem. What is the difference between machine learning and deep learning? Let's think as an example, we want to create a machine that could differentiate between tomatoes and cherries. So in machine learning, the features have to be manually extracted. Features such as the size and the type of stem on them and so on. So each of these features have to be manually extracted and fit to do our machine learning model. And our model will finally give us the result. So this manual extraction of features is the major disadvantage when it comes to machine learning. There are a large number of inputs and this task of manual, manual feature extraction becomes extremely difficult and time consuming task. And this leads to evaluation of deep learning. So deep learning algorithm automatically takes care of the feature extraction when the input images feed to the model, it will automatically learn different aspects of the image. It will measure the dimension of the tomatoes and understand that this is definitely, definitely tomatoes. Because of this automatic feature extraction, deep learning models are able to deal with high dimensional data better than the machine learning model. Okay, if we understand the difference between machine learning and deep learning, let's check the difference with the AI. Let's imagine we are building a self-driving car and try to make it stop at stop signs. From machine learning perspective, we need to have data set which includes millions of street side photos and try to recognize which have stop signs on them. On the other hand, artificial intelligence, after recognize stop signs, it should start applying the brakes. Hopefully, you might have understood by now that artificial intelligence is not the same as machine learning. Okay, let's sum up. The world is filled with data such as pictures, music, words, spreadsheets, videos, and it doesn't look like it's going to slow down, slow down anytime soon. Machine learning brings the promise of deriving meaning all of the data. The fact is, you can get AI without need for machine learning. If you build millions of lines of code with decision trees and a long list of software rules, instead of spending weeks coding your software with specific instructions to accomplish one task, machine learning is a way training a machine so that it can learn itself. Lastly, it shouldn't be forgotten that deep learning is a subclass of machine learning which introduces artificial neural networks in order to extract features automatically. Machine learning has proven to be one of the most game-changing technological advancements of the past decade. However, it is important to understand that machine learning is not the answer to all problems. Given the usefulness of machine learning, it can be hard to accept that sometimes it is not the best solution to a problem. Today I tried to cover what is not machine learning with given some examples. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.